Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at the best way to create drop downs in Excel 365. Using this method you can see my drop down list is not only alphabetized from column A but it also doesn't contain any of the spaces that are found in that column. And if I add a new value to column A in the word blueberry you'll see my drop down list is automatically updated and alphabetized again. Let's jump in. To create our sorted drop down list we're going to start by entering the sort formula into this cell. Afterwards we'll enter the filter function. For the filter function's two required arguments, the array and what to include, I'm gonna highlight the cells in column A. I'm only going down to row 10 here, but keep in mind you could give yourself as much room as you need, going down to row 50 or even highlighting the entire column if you'd like. After a comma for what to include, I'll highlight the same range. And then we'll use a greater than and less than sign to set that not equal to blank. This allows Excel to filter out any blank cells within column A. After two closing parentheses, I can click enter and I now have my filtered and sorted list. To create our dropdown list on the data tab, we'll go to data validation and in the allow field, we'll enter list. In the source box, I'm gonna click the first cell within my filtered and sorted list column. After that, I'll add the hashtag and this references the spill function that we created with the sort and filter formulas. Now I can click OK. And team, check it out. My dropdown list has been created. Now, if I delete a value in strawberry, if I return back to my dropdown list, you'll see it's been updated and no spaces are present. Team, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.